Movement is one of the most important and useful mods available for City Skylines. You've probably used it to move roads or adjust the elevation of objects in the game, but you may not be aware that you can also use it to export collections of buildings, roads, or other features from one save and then import them into another. Recently I collaborated with Lee Hawkins on a rail fix for my city Verde Beach. Unfortunately, I did not let Lee know that he needed to enable the European vanilla theme before loading into the save, so his version of the save is missing many, many buildings throughout the city. Because of this, I wanted to transfer his rail network into my current Verde Beach save, and Move It makes this possible. I load into the save featuring the objects that I want to export. In this case, it's Lee's Verde Beach save. Next, go into the Marquee Selection tool and select only the types of objects that you want to select. In my case, because I'm going to be copying roads and train tracks, nodes and segments are all that are going to be important to me. Now I begin the process of selecting the objects I want to move over to my other save. To ensure that I'm adding to a selection rather than creating a new one, I hold shift while I select new objects. While making my selection, I have inadvertently selected a few power lines and fences since both contain nodes and segments, just like the roads and tracks that I want to select. To remove these objects from the selection, while holding the shift button, I click on each segment and node that I want to remove and they will become deselected. Repeat this process on all objects that you want to export. Once you have all of your objects selected, within Move It, select the Toolbox, Other Tools, and then Export Selection. Give your selection a name and click Export. The export that you have created is saved as an XML file, meaning that you can save this file for the future or share it with friends. On a Windows PC, this file is located here. And now we're ready to begin the import process. But before we do that, if you're finding this helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button to spread the reach of this video. And if I've earned your sub by the end of the video, please consider subscribing as well. Load into the save that you want to import your objects into. To import the object, go into Move It, then click Toolbox, Other Tools, and then Import Selection. You will be presented with two options, Restore and Import. Restoring recreates the object in the exact location and elevation it was exported at, while importing will allow you to paste the asset anywhere that your heart desires, with objects conforming to the geography they are placed on. Look, here's Trattoria's airport on the side of a mountain. Respect the topography, friends. Because I'm moving a selection from one version of the save to another, I will use the restore option. However, I need to clear the way for the import first. This means that I'll be deleting all of the old infrastructure, which honestly feels pretty darn good. Once I'm done with that, I hit restore and move it recreates Lee's handiwork with 100% accuracy on my map, terrain heights and all. That said, connections between existing roads and tracks and the imported ones are not made, and things can overlap if you don't delete everything that you should have. When you're ready to make connections between the existing network and the imported networks, I recommend using Network Multi-Tools Union Nodes mode to make connections between the network. With this tool, it's as simple as clicking on the ends of each of the roads that you want to connect, and they'll become one continuous segment. Please be aware that you will not be able to use this process to connect to buildings, so you'll have to manually connect things such as a train terminal to imported tracks by deleting a bit of track and creating a short joining segment. Once you've completed this process, run the simulation and select all assets that you've imported using the Traffic Routes tool. This tool will show you whether or not the segments or buildings you have imported are working. Finally, after verifying that your import is functional, you can work to blend the import into your city. You'll have to improve the terrains in the area surrounding your import by sloping, flattening, or feathering your terrain. Also, be sure to generously landscape to ensure that your new imported build looks stunningly beautiful. And with that, you've completed your import and are ready to get back to playing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've taken something out of this, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.